Have you ever felt like God is distant? Like something is missing in your spiritual life, but you're not sure what. Maybe you've drifted, lost focus, or let other things take priority over your relationship with him. You are not alone. This feeling is more common than we realize. But here's the truth. God hasn't moved away, we have. And in James 4 verse 8, we find an incredible promise that speaks directly to this struggle. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. This verse holds an incredible invitation for us all, a pathway back to God, no matter where we are in our spiritual journey. Let's explore how this simple yet powerful verse can speak to you today. Context of James 4 verse 8 The book of James is often referred to as the Proverbs of the New Testament. It's filled with practical wisdom for Christian living. In chapter 4, James addresses conflicts and the root causes of why people distance themselves from God. He talks about pride, selfish desires, and worldly influences that pull us away from a genuine relationship with God. When James tells us to come near to God, he's giving a solution to the problems he's been discussing. Worldliness, pride, and selfishness. But notice something beautiful here, the moment we make a move toward God, he is already moving toward us. It's not a long drawn out process. God is ready and waiting, longing for us to turn back to him. Come near to God. At its core, drawing near to God means entering into a relationship that is intimate, real, and personal. It's more than just going to church or following religious routines. It's about your heart being connected to God's heart. This verse invites us to step out of the distractions and return to what truly matters, our relationship with God. But why is it sometimes hard to draw near to God? Life can get noisy. We can get caught up in work, responsibilities, and even our own mistakes or guilt. James is reminding us that none of these things should keep us away from God. In fact, those are the very reasons why we need to draw closer to him. Wash your hands, you sinners. James gives us two specific instructions in this verse, wash your hands and purify your hearts. This is more than just a call to outward cleanliness. It's about inner transformation. Washing your hands symbolizes turning away from sinful actions. It's a call to examine what we've been doing, what habits or behaviors have distanced us from God. Maybe it's lying, anger, jealousy, or simply neglecting time with God. Whatever it is, James is urging us to stop those actions that draw us further from God. Deeper Transformation the second instruction, purify your hearts, speaks to something even deeper. It's about our motives and intentions. Are we seeking God with our whole heart, or are we divided? Maybe part of us wants to follow God, but another part is clinging to the world, to distractions or desires that don't honor Him. Purifying our hearts means letting go of those divided loyalties and fully committing to God. It's about asking God to cleanse not just our outward actions but our inner desires, our very thoughts, and motivations. When we do that, we make space for God to work in our lives in incredible ways. God's Promise Here's the amazing part of this verse, God promises that when you come near to Him, He will come near to you. This isn't about you having to do all the work or get right before approaching God. It's a promise of grace. The moment you take that step toward him, he is already there, ready to meet you. Maybe you've been carrying the weight of guilt, thinking that you're too far gone. This verse is for you. God is saying, come back to me. I'm right here. You don't need to clean yourself up first. Just take that step and God will take care of the rest. 
How can you draw near to God? So how can you respond to this call in James 4 verse 8? It begins with humility. Acknowledge where you've strayed, and then turn back to God. Here are some practical ways to do that. Prayer. Start with simple, honest conversations with God. Share your heart with Him. Ask for forgiveness and strength to let go of whatever is keeping you from Him. Scripture. Dive into God's Word. The Bible is one of the most powerful ways to hear from God and understand His heart for you. Worship. Whether it's through music, serving others, or spending quiet time with God, worship helps you draw near to Him. It shifts your focus from the distractions of the world to the beauty of God's presence. Community. Surround yourself with other believers who encourage you in your walk with God. Sometimes, drawing near to God happens best when we do it together. It's time to draw near. If you've been feeling distant from God, remember this. It's never too late to return. James 4 verse 8 is an open invitation for all of us, no matter where we are in life. Take that step today. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Don't wait for the perfect moment, or until you feel worthy. God is ready for you now, just as you are. So come near and experience the peace, love, and restoration that only God can offer. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next study, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.